Welcome back to Court Farm. We're in 19 and we're just rolling the field to uh, finish it off. And then we can leave it until it's probably... Well, we're going to probably need to put some herbicide on it at some point. But other than that, it is done. So we leased the rollers as... Uh, <laughs> couldn't quite afford the 41 grand to buy them. So plan for today is to finish it, finish up this field, put my teeth back in. We are then going to start mowing and hopefully by the end of the episode we'll have a tidy amount of silage bales that can be fermenting and uh, yeah, sitting there waiting to make us some money. So nearly done here, we can get folded up and then squeeze our way out the gateway and back to the farm yard so let's get out of here get the gate opened there we go so what we got yeah weeds growing so weeder possibly but we want the bonus from precision farming ph perfect nitrogen perfect lovely so the only reason that the yield is down is because most likely the type of soil that we have got can we get out of here in one go no we cannot so again we'll stick some beacons on and we'll try and spin around this way that is <laughs> so not going to work that is incredibly unrealistic there we go round here we need to shut the gate following the slightly clickbaity thumbnail of the first video but you know needs must and all so right we'll put this away and then we'll head to the store and we'll grab some mowers so just down at the store and we've spent another four and a half grand on leasing fees for the mowers but needs must hopefully we can get around and into here and while we're here look at the textures on the floor how good does that look that looks awesome right so we went for the pottinger set up i was going to go for the k brand ones but the these are wider or the rear is wider anyway um so yeah why not get it done a lot quicker so we're gonna need i'm not sure whether we actually while we're here talking about being indecisive what we need is one of these so how much are these to lease Oh, grand houses. So, yeah, we need to think whether we can afford to Ted or not. So, we'll have a bit of a think. We'll do a bit of a in the head, in the in the head math. Some, yeah, we'll do some sums and uh, we'll see what we can afford to do. Because I'm not sure whether. Oh, we can swath. There you go. That's that decided. So we are not going to tether it to semi-dry. We're just going to condition it and bail it at that, I think, just to save ourselves a bit of cash. So we'll get down to the field. We've got two fields to do, so we'll probably start starting the smallest one. We will stick the conditions on and, uh, yeah, get it all swathed up and then we can grab the baler once we've finished with the second field so just an fyi the wheelie bins <laughs> have collisions so i think i'm coming the right way or the alternative way to get to field 23 there's 22 there and there's a gateway for that one here can we access 
the other field from here. This is a gateway I see. Nope, no gateway, just a gap in the hedge. Here we go. No, it's not. Mm. Ready to harvest, but it doesn't quite look as good as it could be. Mm, let's have a quick run to the other field, which is down here. Somewhere through the bushes here. So that is definitely good to go. So what we might do, but saying that, are we going to keep the equipment? No, nope. we will stick to the plant. We'll get them both mowed, and then they're both reset to the same level. We can lime, uh, fertilise, etc. All that good stuff. So let's get unfolded. Let's just check a few things. We're on swath dropping. We've got the conditioner on. And we've got the conditioner on on that one. So we can power up. Back up a little bit. And lower down. There we go. Lovely. We're mowing and we've got that amazing mode texture that we had on Carmston as well. Do like that. I really, really do. So I think a couple of headlands get the get them done and we'll catch up on the up and down rows so i think everyone was a little bought out <laughs> pardon the pun um when this released so quickly um so it had failed on something to do with the rabbits and the way oxygen david had done something with the uh, making them in the wild and something to do with uh, how you'd have to own the land or, or something along those lines. I'm not 100% sure. Um, anyway, he fixed it that night, which was Tuesday, I think. So that would be Tuesday the 11th. And then yeah, it went back into testing, got released on the 12th. So Wednesday the 12th of July, depending on when you're watching this. Because, yeah, it'll be on YouTube forever. Um, well, potentially, as long as the channel doesn't get deleted. Um, so yeah, it kind of caught people off guard, maybe. Um, I managed to... So I'd already sort of had in my mind what I wanted to do. Um, I had watched Scroft's map tour um, of the different areas, all the different farms that are already set up. But, yeah, like I said, in the previous episode, I was trying, or I'm trying to do something a bit different with it. No, don't get me wrong, we'll probably still explore um, the map a bit, and as our farm grows, we will undoubtedly venture out into the different fields to do whether it be contracts or whether we end up owning them but uh, yeah I'm actually very happy with what I've done what I've plumped for um, so what was I saying yes so I'd got my idea of where I wanted to be on the map I'd got an idea of some of the mods that I wanted to use so I'd already built my mods folder um, and that is still you know, we being tweaked, changed. Um, you know, as I think you kind of get to things that you need. It's like when we were rolling, I was like, I've not put any rollers in. Um, so we'll just use base game. If it becomes an issue, then I'll find another set. Um, so yeah, so I was very lucky that I could get on on Wednesday night and build the farm up, sort out uh, enhanced animal system working with Maze Plus um, all just little different things um, went round and got rid of the field stone using easy dev and all that sort of, the little things that oh, I can't see anything there we go, all the little things 
um, that you don't want to have to do whilst you're uh, trying to record. So I kind of got ahead of myself a little bit, which is good. Um, and I think it's just going to develop from there, or from here, really. Um, I need to think about how we get into that field. Actually, is there a route? Where would the entrance be? Hmm. Can't actually see where we'd get into the field, so... Let me have an explore, and I'll be back once we're in there. So hidden away just by the boundary of the map. I do like that. You can see in the distance there's traffic. Oh, and there's traffic there beeping at us. Sorry. There we go. Right. So we're in. Now this is a slightly bigger field. So we'll be a little bit more involved with the mowing. But hopefully we're going to get a decent crop um, of this. Like I said after, uh, like I said before, once we've done this, we can then, when we've got some cash, lime, fertilise, all that good stuff for bringing up the yield next time. Now I'm thinking this is a decent sized field, so we may rip this up. I'm not sure yet. We'll see how we get on. We'll see how we do for like I said previously getting at least one field with each um, food type or slider type but yeah it's a way off yet but that's what the aim is so it looks a big field but actually with these mowers um, two headlands and a few up and downs We'll do it nicely, and I suppose we could cut through there if we got rid of the bushes, but it's good to know where the proper field entrance is. Haven't seen any wild rabbits yet. Those pesky rabbits. <laughs> Elmerford, was that Elmerford? Yeah, I think it was. Um, right, I am talking absolute rubbish, so we'll get this lot mowed or at least the headlands done and I'll catch up with you in a little bit so we're back well for you it's been no time at all a few hours for me had uh, a free period you would say in the day so got the first episode of court farms edited rendered and it is now uploading so in the hands of the YouTube gods but uh, this field is deceiving on the map. Looks pretty big, but actually, it's a decent size still, don't get me wrong. But actually, it's quite uh, manageable for us. The uh, Ent Baler, I think, that we're going to get should do us a treat. Now, I did forget to turn the conditioners on because uh, I left the game my PC <laughs> so I edit in Resolve as some of you may know but if you know I edit in Resolve and obviously render in that as well um, it does not like um, rendering it when FS is running it was saying 17 hours to complete so yeah we had to leave the game unfortunately but Never mind. So yeah, of course, Mace Plus. Maybe not, of course. With Mace Plus, the conditioners reset um, when you en uh, exit and then reload up the save. So we've got a little bit there that uh, is unconditioned, but I'm sure we'll cope with that. Now, I think what we're going to do is... In the absence of auto drive at the minute, um, I've got it installed. Haven't done anything with it yet. We've not had the need to, and I'm pretty sure that uh, the auto drive guys are on it now. Um, from reading what they say in, I think they're in Farms in Briscoe's Discord and on how they prioritise 
um, which maps to do. Um, I am guessing that Court Farms has jumped to the top of the list um, because of its popularity. So hopefully, I think the Saxthorpe Farm one came out I'm going to say a couple of days after release to Modhub. So I'm hoping that it's not going to be too long. But like I say, at the minute, we're not really in need of it. Um, so it's not too much of a problem. Just want to get that little bit there. And we'll get this little bit over here. And then we'll finish up the rest of the field there we go let's get lined up and control V to drop both mowers at once there we go super oh, it feels rushed today I mean my day today feels rushed um, got a busy or well, had quite a busy day um, with work but also trying to get my head round um, finishing off Attingham now I don't normally like talking about other maps whilst you're playing on another but the plan is so I'll put a poll up today to see what we do with the money do we just take what's in the bank or do we sell everything and then bring that across to court farms um so waiting on the results of that to finish um and i think at the minute we're kind of all right we're just i don't know we could if you were to role play it you'd say we'd won a lottery and we took out a bridging loan until the money ended up in our bank or something along those lines but yeah, it's not stopping us, it's not hindering us, it's just hindering us. So, jobs are good, and I think what we can do is we'll grab the fence baler once we finish this mowing. We may even pop it on the Massey, I think. I think it should have enough power. Um, and then we can stick the JCB on the Richard Weston bale trailer. Now when I used that in the last episode it was throwing a few warnings um, nothing game breaking but something to keep an eye on. I do like to try and keep um, a warning and most definitely an error free log file um, just because otherwise it gets yeah, gets a bit fraught and uh, makes the save very unstable and that is the last thing that we want so I will finish up the mowing we will grab ourselves the baler and we'll start making the silage bales and be quite interested to see how many we actually end up with so before we start any baling we are going to make sure let's just unfold that and turn on automatic drop we have got 150 centimeter bales set so that's good we can pull forward turn it on lower it down and off we go Super. So the tractor's coping rather well. Good. So it's not going to be. We're not filling up that quick. But yeah, this field wasn't fully ready to harvest. So that's why. But not too much of a problem. It's just less to collect. Ah. <laughs> Um, the other thing that I've just hooked the fast track up to the Richard Weston trailer and forgot that I needed to add that trailer to the 
um, auto load mod so we won't be picking up the bales out the field today which is a bit of a frustration and oversight on my part now we've got three grand left so we could possibly lease the Arcusin auto stacker is it um, but we'll see I'm not uh, too precious on getting them cleared today once they're wrapped they are protected from the pretend elements although we don't have rain in the forecast which is rather good um, but what I'm thinking is once we've done this we can obviously return the things we don't need so we're not incurring the lease fees um, and then we can probably advance into September so we can get the wheat all drilled and uh, yeah start to get our crops and eventually well, what which will eventually be feed in the ground so that is the plan but as per most things it might well change so it's just absolutely started pelting it down here in the UK um, which is quite nice actually because it was getting rather muggy so hopefully that will bring the uh, humidity down a touch fingers crossed anyway um, what was I going to say so yeah court farms, brilliant um, I had always thought to come here um, I don't know whether any of you would have guessed um, I loved Carmston. End of. Um, and it was this was always going to be a map that I was going to play on. And it's actually worked out quite well. Um, the timing. I had originally said that episode 50 would be the end of Attingham. But, you know, I think that would have been a bit drawn out. Um, yes, I'm probably justifying it to myself, but that's how I feel um, and I would have been daft not to come on this map you know there's been so so much hype around it um, you know right from the day that it was announced that it was coming um, there always is hype around uh, Oxygen David's maps um, I think that's only been um, exacerbated is that the, would that be the right term um, since Scroft moved his um, farmhand roleplay series to the map let's fold that up um, so yeah and you know it'd be like um, again I'm just defining it to myself but it would be like uh, FS20 Five, let's say coming out I don't know FS23 25 whatever uh, and me not bothering and just staying where I was stop staying put that is not going to grow the channel so yeah there are my reasons um, hopefully um, it helps the channel grow um, I guess because I do um, do I do do long relatively long let's play series um, you lose the hype around certain maps um, but yeah so that's my reasons for moving so we can now make the really 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 long drive <laughs> down the road to our next field and we'll have a look how many we made in that field six so not bad small field wasn't at its uh, most harvestable state in fact that is a mod that we need to add in is it the field info additional field info mod I'm not sure um, but that is handy oh, that's cool it automatically unfolds marvellous right we will 
I'll tell you what helps. <laughs> you lower the pickup. Dear, oh dear. How not to bale a field for silage. So, tell you what. I am going to do a couple of headlands, a couple of rounds, and then we'll catch up and uh, we'll get it all finished off. So that's the 20th bale. Come on, tractor. Um, that we've made out of this field. So pretty good harvest off of the grass now I haven't been round and picked every little piece up um, if we're close to then I may go scratching around for the odd few litres of grass but because this is leased there's not much point um, so yeah if I can make another bale I will so whilst doing the headlands and sort of pondering user disturbed term um, I was thinking to myself you know I've just explained to yeah, everybody you know why we've moved so early and all this lot and jumping on the bandwagon and the first video could well have and I hope I'm not foreshadowing could well have died on its arse let's put it bluntly um, I don't know yet, it's not gone live, um, but yeah, I'm hoping, you know, fingers crossed. Um, yeah, still got the faithful few hundred people, and that sounds weird to say, few hundred people that watch um, reg regularly, well, 150, let's say, to not to blow too much smoke, but um, yeah, and you know, the other thing that doesn't make you anxious but sort of and I haven't seen too many videos drop on court farms yet I think um, oh I forget his name Sim Farmer maybe um, went live yesterday um, so they're getting set up on there but as of yet I haven't seen too many others that I'm subscribed to um, on the map so I'm not sure whether people are finishing up series I'm guessing BF is going to um, jump on here maybe I don't know his Atticum series is finishing up as well um, but yeah you know Sod's Law I will at some point get a notification you know starting a pig farm on court farms <laughs> um, if it is then fine whatever I doubt it you know but who knows who knows in fact there is one now that is elite farming and I can't work out from his thumbnail where he is but he's been on it as well so we'll see um, it's going to get attention it's a fantastic map Oxygen Davis maps are ah, um, so it is it's dog eat dog it's you're going to be first or your last I don't know whether that's actually a saying or or what but yeah that's my uh, logic we'll see how it goes um, and there's nothing to say that once we've got to a point where we've not done the pigs to death that sounds wrong but um, you know if we are sustainable um, you know growing our own feed and hopefully turn a profit from them uh, we, we could you know explore other opportunities and you know maybe I don't know different animals not necessarily but I don't know it is open for growth let's put it that way so enough of me rambling on I'm getting hot, I need to take my headphones off. I will see you when we're very nearly done. So, I don't think we're going to have enough for a 150 centimetre bale. So I'm sorry for clicking my lips then. Um, so what I'm thinking we do is, I've lowered it now to 125, and we might just be able to scrape a bale. I'm not... 100% sure and 
it's not looking overly likely. Oh, maybe. <laughs> I think we've got to that point where it's that annoying beeping. Um, we'll chase around the field and see what we can grab. Um, so I'm not sure we're going to. Um, but yeah, we'll go. Uh, we'll go. I will whiz round, see if we can grab and make another bail. If not, I'll see you when we're about to return the baler. Well, unfortunately, it wasn't quite enough to make another bail. But never mind. Now, I'll be interested in if in the future we wanted to expand, we could maybe purchase that bit of land there. We'll have to have a look at that another time um for those that are interested and that are not on my discord um one there should be a link to my discord below it's not the um busiest of places but there's a good group of people about um and we have a bit of a laugh when we do get a chance to chat um other thing is the bail bunker for sugar beet is now a pack uh, which has been submitted to ModHub and uh, contains a potato bunker, the sugar beet bunker and a silage bunker. Uh, now Disturbed used it on one of his Saxthorpe videos recently and he managed to get 400 and something thousand litres in it. Now, when I tested it, I did a quarter of a million litres, and that was no problem at all. But, yeah, he crammed in 400 and something thousand litres. So, there with Giants, it still says at the minute, pending. So, it's not in anybody's inbox uh, to start testing just yet. But, hopefully, should pass with no issues, fingers crossed. Um, and then that will be with you on the Mod Hub for you to use as you wish. Um, so, plan for next episode is we will be in September, I think. Um, we may have a lot more money, or we may not. <laughs> Leaving it nice and vague. Um, but yeah, we'll get the grass fields turned around, and or at least one grass field turned around, um, if we're going to keep. I think we're probably going to keep the big one because we made 31 bales off that nearly 32 so yeah all good there so i think we'll keep the big grass field maybe rip the other one up we'll see um we have got plenty of time to decide so once we've got the money we'll then start to maybe grow the pig um the amount of pigs that we've got um i don't want to be buying in food forever but you know we've got fields that are starting to come around to harvest time so that's the plan thank you very very much for watching i do hope you've enjoyed the episode um if you have leave a like if you've not yet subscribe to the channel and i will see you in the next one take care